Hello there, and welcome to this episode of the Grow VC Everyone Funding Startups podcast. I'm your host, Marcus, and today we're talking about the need for development in the VC model. And to delicately imply this, we're calling this episode the Broken VC Model. As discussants, we have Yoga from Grow VC, as well as our special guest, Kevin Lawton. Kevin, could you tell our listeners a little bit about yourself? Sure. Well, I started my uh, career at MIT Lincoln Laboratory actually working on some uh, some DOD-sponsored types of uh, projects like satellite communication and space-based radar, but um, out of Lincoln, I actually started um, a PC emulation project called Box and sponsored by Box Software Company, and that um, that was essentially pre-virtualization in the sense that it uh, it did uh, it created a whole PC in software and at an emulation level. Um, that project was actually used uh, in the R&D for a number of the popular virtualization projects that are out there today. Um, and uh, at some point, it was um, I had sold that project and that company to um, a French Linux distributor called Mandrake Soft, now Mandrava, um, and worked in the, the Linux space for a while. Um, I went on to create um, uh, for a while uh, an open source project called Plex86, which was I suppose the first x86, uh, the first open open source x86 virtualization project. Um, after that, I I went on to work for a whole number uh, of startup companies, um, or sometimes consulting, sometimes working in their early phase to get get them started, um, including um, a company that was doing uh, a big data center box, looks a lot like Cisco's unified computing system box, to um, I was one of the founding team members at Montanvo Systems, which uh, was trying to create the, uh, a low-power, high-performance uh, CPU, go up against Intel. I <laughs> um, uh, worked at a bunch of concept stage uh, startup companies, um, worked at uh, one creating a, a network-level security shield around uh, each virtual machine. We were uh, incubated at a venture capital firm. Um, that, that company was a little early, but now I see their competitors doing something in that space. I've worked, um, uh, worked at a, a few other startup companies, actually quite a few <laughs> early phase, um, often kind of going from zero to, uh, you know, first, first level of funding. Um, currently working for um, uh, a stealth mode database scalability uh, company. And um, I've also uh, worked on the side with a lot of friends, helping them get their company started, um, doing everything from diligence in the patent space to, uh, you know, working on the idea, attaching it from, you know, to a little reality of uh, uh, the customer side, marketing and all that kind of stuff. Um, so I think that's a pretty good, that's a pretty go- good overview. And, and uh, currently, um you know, as I've been, I've been fairly active in the blogging space, running my own my own blog at trendcaller.com, doing sort of a a trend casting of the intersection of business and technology. Um, I have some contributions on VentureBeat. Um, I'm also a Seeking Alpha contributor, and um, as some of those blogs had a lot to do with crowdfunding and uh, a new model of uh, VC funding, I had. Um, I connected with, and now I'm a co-author of a uh, a book in the space with a uh, with an Israeli author, um, and um, I've been invited to do some things like uh, be a keynote speaker at the Smeal Business School this fall um, in uh, the uh, the impact of networking on entrepreneurialism. I think that's pretty pretty much a good overview, and maybe we can go from there. Yeah, that, that sounds good. You've definitely been around the block and seen the different dimensions. So, so thanks for joining us. Uh, absolutely. So um, let's start off with our member highlight for today, and that's a startup called Finderbase. And Finderbase.com is a service to help people who have lost their belongings. The service isn't just a website, but it's a whole concept. If you lose something, go to the site to see if someone's found it. And if you find something, go to the site to report it for the owner to find. The solution incorporates local 
location-based technology to facilitate this matchmaking process. So, Yoko, what do you think of FinderBase? Uh, I, I think that in many ways it is very typical community project, so that it it will definitely have value when it has enough users. So, so the main question is that how to get the critical mass of users, and uh, not only let's say in uh, global scale, but especially how to find enough users in different local levels, so that if if I lose something in London that there are high enough probability that that somebody who can who 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 can find it in London uh, is is willing to use this service and and know this service so that uh, I, I I think that the main question as for many other community services is really that that how how to get that critical mass of the users and I think that it is something that is very valuable of course to to have a kind of one place uh, to to report if you find something or if you have lost something, uh, but it takes some time before people are a- able to find it, uh, and and then the the question is is really that how to get uh, people to use it. Uh, there there seems to be some nice tools like that uh, that uh, uh, it it can I- immediately, for example. Uh, uh, use your your current location that is important and actually I think that the mobile mobile version is also very important because if if for example you lose something uh, the the mobile phone can be the first device to to report uh, that you are lost something or the same also if you find something so that actually I, I think that this is one of those services where mobile has also a very important role. All right, and FinderBase is currently in the processes of closing their $250,000 funding round. And that's something that we'll probably hear more about in the recent future. So we will keep in touch with them in the community. And more information on FinderBase is available at finderbase.com. So now let's bridge over to our main discussion point, the broken VC model. As the model itself hasn't significantly evolved for many decades, it's no surprise that it has its downfalls. Even as we playfully call our community the virtual Silicon Valley, it shouldn't be interpreted as a surrogate to the real Silicon Valley. Kevin, you're based in California, so what's the situation with the funding market for startups there? Well, I've pulled a lot of venture capitalists recently and been talking to some angel investors, and, and I, I would say to summarize, um, the growing feeling is that about a half of the venture capital firms will be washed out in this area in the next few years. And the way that would break down is about 25%, the belief is anyway, is 25% will just not make their capital calls over time. And another 25% will get washed out because they can't raise new funds. So um, no matter what you hear going forward, the, uh, the general thinking in the field is that things are going to get worse. Um, money will certain get, certainly get a lot tighter. Um, I think that, you know, obviously the venture capitalists at the top of the food chain are probably enjoying the shakeout in the sense that there'll be a, a half the competition there used to be. But for the what it means to the entrepreneur is that... Um, Essentially, money is getting tight around here and, and consequently will probably shift into other areas or, or other funding means like crowdfunding, for example. So I think that um, – and also, you know, in the angel circuit, you know, I've talked to a number of them recently that are really uh, – have pulled away from uh, investing and um, for a lot of reasons that we could discuss. But um, they've got – they got bit investing in the last 10 years and um, I have – a feeling as well to the uh, financial situation in the world their their money advisors are telling them to stay liquid and not enter you know these startup kind of illiquid uh, arrangements so um, it's it's not good here and it's not going to get better <laughs> is the answer <laughs> what do you think that what what are the reasons you mentioned something like that the, the situation in the world is 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 not so good yet but but 